Good morning, Year 3. Right then, so today we are on Chapter 13 of Gangster Granny, A Lifetime of Crime. Hours passed in what seemed like minutes as Granny told her grandson how she had stolen every one of the dazzling items spread out on the living room floor. The huge tiara had belonged to the wife of the President of the United States of America, the First Lady. Granny told Ben how, over 50 years earlier, she had sailed all the way to America on a cruise liner to steal it from the White House in Washington. And that whilst sailing back home, she had robbed every rich lady on the ship of her jewels. How she was caught red-handed by the captain of the ship and escaped by diving overboard and swimming the last few miles of the Atlantic Ocean back to England with all of the jewellery hidden in her knickers. Granny told Ben that the sparkling emerald earrings that had been in her little bungalow for decades were worth over a million pounds each. They had once belonged to the wife of an enormously wealthy Indian Mah Mahara, a Maharini. The old lady recounted how she enlisted the help of a herd of elephants to steal them. She had coaxed the elephants to stand on top of each other to form a giant ladder so she could scale the wall of the fort in India where the earrings were kept in the royal bedchamber. The most amazing tale of all was how she stole the enormous deep blue diamond and sapphire brooch that sat sparkling on her worn living room carpet. She told Ben that it had once belonged to the last Empress of Russia, who ruled with her husband, the Tsar, before the Communist Revolution of 1917. It had for many years been under bulletproof glass at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, guarded 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, by a platoon of fearsome Russian soldiers. This theft had required the most elaborate plan of all. Granny had hidden in an ancient suit of armour in the museum, which dated back hundreds of years to the time of Catherine the Great. Each time the soldiers looked the other way, she would edge forward in the metal suit just a few millimetres until she got close enough to the brooch. It took her a week. What? Like Granny's footsteps? asked Ben. Exactly, young man, she replied. Then I smashed the glass with the silver axe I was holding and grabbed the brooch. How did you escape, Granny? That's a good question. Now, how did I escape? Granny looked flummoxed. Sorry, it's it's my age, boy. I forget things. Ben smiled supportively. It's okay, Granny. Soon the old lady's memory seemed to come back in, into focus. Oh, yes, I remember, she continued. I ran outside into the courtyard of the museum, leapt into the barrel of a huge cannon and then fired myself to safety. Ben pictured this for a moment. His Granny in her deepest, darkest Russia, flying through the air in an ancient suit of armour. It was hard to believe. But how else could this little old lady come to have such astonishing collection of priceless gems? Ben loved Granny's daring tales. At home, Ben had never had stories read or told to him. His parents always just switched on the television and slumped down on the sofa when they got home from work. Hearing the old lady talk was so exciting. Ben wished he could move in with her. He could listen to Granny all day. There can't be a jewel in the world you haven't stolen, said Ben. Oh, yes, there is, young man. Hang on, what's that? What's what, said Ben. Granny was pointing behind Ben's head, an expression of horror on her face. It's, it's, what, said Ben, not daring to turn around and see what she was pointing at. A shiver ran down his spine. Whatever you do, said Granny, don't turn round. Okay, there's a wonder what's happened, going to happen next. That's ending on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So, today then, your work, you are going to have a look at the nouns, verbs and adjectives. Okay, in the chapter that we have just read. So, I'm going to go on to the flip chart because all of this work here is on the flip chart as well. And I'm going to talk through it. Okay. 
Okay, so we are on Tuesday the 12th of May and on here you can see nouns, verbs, adjectives. So I want you to pause this video and I want you to write down what is a noun, what is a verb and what is an adjective. Okay, so I give you a couple of um, minutes to do that. You can pause this video for however long you need to. If you want to, you can tell an adult if they are with you what is a noun, what is a verb, what is an adjective. Okay then, so you should have put something down very similar to this. So we know a noun is a person, a place or a thing, a PPT. Okay. A verb is an action word or something you do. So you can see here, this girl is doing a jump. Okay. And an adjective is a word that describes. So this cupcake here, delicious cupcake, the sweet delicious cupcake. Okay, and usually we use two adjectives to describe, don't we? We use two A sentences. Okay then, so to get your brains working, what you're going to do, and I'm going to start off by doing um, some, but then you're going to finish it off. You are going to read this little piece of text here, and then you're going to go back through it. And you can either highlight, you can colour, you can mark each word. <coughs> Excuse me. So it doesn't matter whether if you haven't got it printed out, that's fine. You can just write down the words that you think are verbs or a noun or an adjective. Okay, depending on which type, what word type it is. So I'm going to think I'm going to do um, orange for a verb. Okay. So let me just flick back. So a verb is an action word or something you can do. Okay. Ben and Granny have a big secret. Granny has been stealing precious jewels for years and she has kept them all this time. Granny likes to show Ben all the diamonds and sapphires she has stolen from all over the world. Granny is extremely clever though. She hides all of the dazzling jewels in a Jubilee biscuit tin. Ben and Granny now need to be more careful if they, not, if they do not want to be caught. Although Ben is astonished by what his Granny does, he is excited to hear more about Granny's fun adventures. Okay, I might want to put caught in there as well. To, oops, I don't want all that. Okay, so then you need to carry on to look for a noun and adjective. So that's just your anchor task to get you started. So you can pause the video now and do that, or you can come back and do it once you've watched the video all together. Okay, so your task today then is you're going to go back through chapter 13 and complete a table to show all of the nouns, verbs and adjectives David Williams has used. You may find more or less nouns, verbs and adjectives in the space on the table, so you might not find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You might not find seven verbs, and that's okay. Okay, I've just done a standard table for you to have a look at. So we've just found verbs in here. So I'm going to look through the um, the text on a couple of pages to show you what you need to do, and I'm going to look for adjectives this time. So I'm going to go back to the text and I'm going to go back to the beginning of chapter 13. Okay, so what you will do when you do this task, you will go back to the beginning of the video and then you can pause the chapter once you find something. Okay, so hours passed in what seemed like minutes as Granny told her grandson how she had stolen every one of those dazzling. There we go. So that is my first Sorry about that. That is my first adjective, dazzling. Okay, so that's going to go in my table. There we go, as an adjective. And actually, I can use living room floor because it's not saying that it's just a floor. It's saying it's the living room. So living room can go on in my adjectives list as well. Okay. So I've already got two adjectives to use. Okay, then let's go back and let's see what else we can find. Huge tiara. So now we've got huge. So straight away we can do that. Got lots of adjectives so far. It's not just that it's describing. Okay, so remember, this is here to help you as well if you're unsure, if you've forgotten what a noun, a verb, or an adjective is. So a word that describes. Um, 
President of the United States of America, the First Lady, Granny told Ben how over 50 years earlier she had sailed all the way to the Atlant America on a cruise liner to steal it from the White House in Washington. And that while sailing back home, she had robbed every rich lady. There we go, rich. I'm not saying she just rob robbed every lady, she only robbed the rich ladies. Um, on the ship of her jewels. How she was caught red-handed by the captain of the ship and escaped by diving overboard and swimming the last few miles of the Atlantic Ocean back to England with all of her jewellery hidden in her knickers. I'm going to put Atlantic Ocean. Pause. Um, no, actually, because I, I want to see whether you can see, tell me what Atlantic Ocean is. Okay, because it's one of these two to give you a clue. Uh, granny told Ben that. The sparkling emerald. Nice. So we've got sparkling. And then we have got emerald as well. Super. We've nearly finished it. But as I said, if you've run out of space, just keep going. Okay? Don't think, oh, I can only find seven. I want you to find as many as you can. Been in her little bungalow. Oh, we're doing very well here. little i'm just going to get to the end of this page and then you can get on with your work uh whereabouts are we worth over a million pounds each they had once belonged to the wife of an enormously wow an enormously which is an adverb enormously an enormously wealthy and then i'm going to Wealthy as well. I'm just going to move that there so we can fit on wealthy. Okay then, so your task today is what we've just what I've just um modeled to you that you're going to complete. Okay, so you've got to complete the anchor task first to so to know that you can um find all of those words in that bit of text, and then you're going to create your own table full of nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Okay, if you need any help or support, please email myself or Mr. Grocott and we will do our absolute best to give you the help that you need. All right, have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing all of your tables full of nouns, verbs and adjectives. Talk to you all soon. Bye.